Hello, today we'll be checking out a slight uptick in earthquake activity. There was two major solar flares and Hurricane Ian has made landfall in South Carolina. In the past 24 hours, we have seen a slight uptick around magnitude 5 activity. Coming over to the West Pacific, there was a magnitude 5.8 yesterday southeast of the Loyalty Islands. This was at 2259 UTC. Just 20 minutes ago, there was a magnitude 5.8 inland of Sumatra, Indonesia. This has a depth of 13.2 kilometers. Also, yesterday at 2222 UTC, there was a magnitude 5.6 in Myanmar. Coming up to the eastern border of Alaska, there was a magnitude 5.1 near Yakutat. Coming over to California, there was a magnitude 3.4 earthquake at 4 a.m. local time this morning. Interestingly, there's been a slight uptick in magnitude 3 activity across North America with a 3.1 near Align, Oklahoma, and a magnitude 3.2 near White's City, New Mexico. Of course, this area near White City, New Mexico sees them a little bit more normally. Looking at the past 30 days of earthquakes across Oklahoma, we can see there are many earthquakes across the state. Looking at this magnitude of 3.1 that happened yesterday at 2259, there is one other earthquake next to it. This is a magnitude of 2.5 and this happened on the 9th of this month. Coming over to the Americas, there was a magnitude 5.2 earthquake just off the coast of El Salvador. Also south of that earthquake in Chile, there was a magnitude 5.3. Coming over the Rejakens Ridge, the swarm is still continuing, however it has died down just slightly. Coming over to Hawaii, the swarm continues, however in the past 24 hours we have seen a new cluster of earthquakes. This is just west of the main Mauna Loa crater. Looking at the amount of earthquakes in this cluster, it looks like there has been 39 earthquakes in this specific cluster in the past 24 hours, the largest of those earthquakes being a magnitude 3.1. In the past 24 hours, most of the larger activity has been in the West Pacific, so I'm going to try to pull up some seismic stations on the LHZ channel. Now the LHZ channel on all of these stations is really good at feeling distant motion. Here are the location of a couple of seismograms. The markers are blue. They're kind of hard to pick out. Here is a signature of that earthquake happening just a second ago near Sumatra, Indonesia. You see it really well on this station here. Here it is on a few more stations. And then I saw a lot of these stations have the SHZ channels, so I'm going to try to pull that channel up. Here's one station on the SHZ channel. Here's another one. Coming back over to Southern California near Anza, I wanted to bring up seismometers around that earthquake and we can see that signature of that earthquake amongst other earthquakes coming up on this station. Now interestingly, this station is a part of the PB network or plate boundary network. As far as I know, all of their stations are borehole stations, which is basically just a deep hole in the ground where the seismometer and other instruments can get deep down to parts of the rock that are really affected by earthquakes. So it makes these stations very sensitive. Here is one more station. We can see the earthquake coming up on that station. This is the same network, the PB network. In the past six hours, we have seen two M-class solar flares. At 1621, there was around a M5 flare. And then about an hour after that, at 1735, there was an M1.3 flare. We can see on this graph there is a few more pops since those events, but they are all very small. Here's the SDO satellite, and we can see in just the last few frames, I believe this is the M5 flare coming off of the left side of the sun over there. 
Hurricane Ian is currently a Category 1 hurricane and it is making landfall in Southern Carolina. This is its third landfall after Cuba and Florida. Here's a traffic camera near Myrtle Beach. We can see cars driving by. Camera's shaking. There's rain, wind. Look like the camera is having some trouble transmitting though. Here's some more imagery. Looks like I can't get any cameras on the Ravenel Bridge. Conditions do not seem too bad over there. Here's someone walking around on the road on this camera. Or they're on a bicycle, actually. Okay, so that truck has been queued in that turn lane for a second now. And now more cars are queuing up, so I'm kind of interested in what's going to happen. Alright, he's finally going. We will continue to follow this slight uptick in earthquake activity. Thank you for checking out today's video, and stay tuned for the next one.